Welcome back to First Day Issues. We have come to the end of our series on allergies where previously we spoke about seasonal allergies, food allergies and allergies to animal fur. Tonight we conclude the allergies series with a conversation on allergies to man-made substances with allergologist Dr. Chris Masigar. First let's talk about what are man-made substances. The common man-made uh, substances we know, you know, chemicals, uh, cleaning chemicals, soaps, um, you know, those are some of the most common man-made chemicals that we get in contact with. Other things include, you know, for women, perfumes, facial products, um, hair products, um, all of those things. So many of those things can react two ways. It, it can either be an allergic reaction, so there's something in there that your body doesn't like, or it can be a direct irritation. You know, let's say you are, you are using something with, with, let's say, ammonia. Ammonia can be, can be irritation, uh, let's say it can cause irritation to your nose or, or your skin. So, so we need to be able to differentiate the difference. Is it a direct irritation, um, you know, causing a chemical burn? You know, sometimes some of the, those relaxers, things that you guys use, cause chemical irritations. But then some cause an allergic reaction. An allergic reaction, remember we said, is when you have either an itch, um, nasal blockage, or your throat blocking, or, or you're developing a rash. So what we need to understand about, about allergies to man-made um, chemicals, just like every other allergies, is an issue of exposure. If you're exposed to this thing much more than you need to be, you will eventually, your body will start saying, you know what, I don't think I like this thing. Um, and, and in terms of treatment, as with all allergies, if you can avoid, avoid. And with, with man-made um, 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 chemicals, usually the best thing is to avoid. With Father's Day approaching, I think um, all fathers need to understand their role um, in the community. Um, you see the setup as it was created from the beginning. Um, there was a man and then there was a woman, both of whom um, have a very, very g great role when it comes to raising of kids. Um, there's no kid who can be raised without a father and becomes a complete kid. There's no kid who can be raised without a mother and becomes a complete kid. You need both of these characters to feed the child so that the child can grow up to understand the world the way they need to understand it. A father is a fundamental figure on a gro in a child's growth. They add value, they show great leadership, they are the founding fathers of this nation and we love you all. So we always say to fathers that um, your role is so important. Um, don't allow the mothers to always be taking care of the stresses of the kid, taking care of the kids. You also need to be present. They need to feel your voice. Sometimes it's not even what you say or what you do. Sometimes it's just your presence, just you being there. They see you. They, 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 they get to learn how a man smells like and how a man coughs. Those <laughs> things are very important in the upbringing of a child. So let us thank um, all fathers that have been present, um, all fathers that um, take their kids to school, um, fund their kids' education and are present at all times. So whether over the phone, if you are working um, too far from your kids or just being present, um, thank yourself and thank all fathers um, around you who are doing that beautiful job. And with that, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day.
This program was brought to you in association with First National Bank of Botswana.